I was going to record a video today on combining fragrances with fashion. However, I am so knackered from work and it is a new type of video that I'm actually gonna delay it. I'm gonna try to record it this weekend for you guys and hopefully the video will be out later on this month. So instead today, we're gonna to do a simple but fun video where I explain to you what I think are the best cheap men's fragrances currently in a short amount of time, giving you the most important information about each fragrance. Let's get started. Davidoff Cool Water Intense. This smells nothing like the original. You get an affordable blue shower gel DNA with a nice coconut note and lasts a long time, about 10 hours, pushing this really sexy amber note on the dry down. Carolina Herrera's 212 Man NYC, the sexiest grass fragrance you'll ever smell that still has a shower gel musky base DNA, last 10 hours. Versace the Dreamer, art in a bottle, an affordable creative fragrance of tobacco, florals and lavender. It has good performance and good versatility, although it has a slight old school vibe to it also. Versace Blue Jeans, an old school vibe as well, but a more safe fragrance compared to the Dreamer an easy, affordable way to get as many compliments as possible for your daily scents. An extremely underrated brand, Alexandria Fragrances 1981X. They're predominantly a clone brand, and this is their clone of Zerzhov's Naxos. And for being one-tenth of the price of Naxos, this is incredible. It's basically a more smooth Naxos, focusing less on the tobacco and more on the honey and lavender, and extremely sexy, closer to the skin, I would say date scent, really good value for money. Alexandria Fragrances Hafez 1984. Clearly the 80s were a great time for this brand. This is technically the original creation, but it smells similar to Mancera's Red Tobacco, but I think it's more well blended. I think it's a sexier Red Tobacco, a cheaper price, it doesn't last 24 hours, lasts 12 hours instead, which is better in my opinion. And instead of just getting tobaccos and spices, you also get a nice sexy rum note as well as the vanilla on the dry down. Beautiful scent, gives you so many compliments both for dating and clubbing. Burberry Touch for Men, a simple, linear, clean, sharp fragrance that smells higher quality than the price that you can use for both school or the office. Burberry London, I wish this fragrance performed better, but if you overspray, you will get one of the sexiest, spicy fragrances out there for men. It has this warm, fuzzy feeling without being overpowering with sweetness. It combines leather and spices in a balanced way. It's super sexy. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit, you get the Invictus DNA at the most affordable price possible while still being very smooth and a good performer, actually. The more I wear it, the, the, the more I realize how well it performs. You get six to eight hours. It's meant to be a clone of Invictus Aqua 2016. It's sexy, it's safe, it's an easy dumb reach for the summertime. Mont Blanc Individual, technically discontinued, but still super easy to find cheap. It is a clean, everyday, soapy raspberry scent that lasts about eight hours and gets you a lot of compliments. Individual was cloned by Cree to make original Santal, and then Mont Blanc cloned Creed's Aventus to make Explorer. Explorer could also be in this list, but today, at, these, at this time, I, I feel that Club de Nuit by Armaf, the Eau de Toilette, is still the best fragrance for this affordable price range. I think you should save a bit more, get the Eau de Parfum, but it's still a fragrance that I personally compliment others when I smell it. It lasts a good amount of time, six to eight hours. The current formulation does have that harsh opening. If you can get past that, it's an incredible Aventus alternative at one-tenth of the price. Club de Nuit Sillage also makes Creed Silver Mountain Water, which is cloning. It makes that fragrance redundant because I think for one-tenth of the price, it's much better value for money. It's a more masculine, more easily wearable Silver Mountain Water. It's an aromatic, fresh, metallic fragrance that re just reminds you of spring. It's very calming, relaxing. We're gonna keep going with the Middle Eastern houses, Rasasi's Dar Edge. This smells like a floral, spicy, romantic fragrance that you can wear for both dates or clubbing. It's meant to be a clone of Valentino's V. It's meant to be very close to that fragrance, which was considered a masterpiece back when it existed. Ard Al Zafaran's Oud 24 Hours. This has no oud in it. This is a Tom Ford Black Orchid clone at what tenth of the price. Not as rich as or as complex, which I think is actually better. It makes it more easily wearable in my opinion. So if you want a more easy to wear daily scent that will remind you of black orchids, 
go for this. It smells more masculine also by uh, being more woody on its focus. Al Haramein Excellent Floral Spicy Woody Vanilla. That is beast mode for a fragrance that costs $15 lasts about 10 hours. Wear it if you want a carefree Middle Eastern Prince vibe. Lacoste White, a fragrance that I personally get eight hours with. A lot of people complain about the performance, but I think this fragrance performs really well. A super masculine white floral fragrance that gives you a very sporty, athletic vibe. A very easy fragrance to buy if you want something that is sporty. And finally, these two are art in a bottle. Encre Noir à l'extrême, a masterpiece. A 10 out of 10, in my opinion. It is for somebody who wants a beast mode, 12 hour woody, dark gothic fragrance. If you like that sort of style, if you like vetiver, you will love this scent. Finally, Encre Noir Sports, a unique summertime fragrance. It combines aquatic notes with a black inky notes that it just creates something you won't smell in any other summer scent and it lasts a good amount of time as well, eight hours. So it's very high quality smelling, very well, uh, good performing for a cheap fragrance. And that concludes the video, guys. What other cheap fragrances do you think I should try? Do not recommend Bentley from Men Intense. I will not buy that fragrance again. I already gave it away. However, I'm gonna look into fragrances like Missoni Wave. A lot of people say that's good, as well as uh, Frank Olivier's Oud Touch. So if you have any other suggestions you think I should buy, I'm definitely looking into them. Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to check out our other video where I describe 50 popular fragrances in three words, three minutes or less. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Thank you.